Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. And we can use the cards to get a sense of the energies and messages for the month so that you can uh, use this information to help guide you. So let's see what the cards would like us to know for you, Sagittarius, in June. Okay, so we have uh, actually the 14th card, which is Temperance. I can't even pronounce this. Feralite, I'm not sure. <laughs> Princess of Wands, and then the Seven of Swords. So the Temperance card is a card of finding balance, and it's finding balance between all the aspects of your life, physical, spiritual, mental, and uh, doing what you can to create the perfect balance, the right equilibrium. And so it's being very mindful of what you do and not going to extremes, not going to extremes in your thinking or in your activities. So it's pretty much trying to find the moderate path to allow yourself to try to stay in balance. There's a sense here that you have to take care of yourself. You have to be in balance in order to make good decisions, in order to, uh, you know, uh, feel good about yourself. I think with temperance, it's uh, a chance for you to heal, a chance for you to restore. And it's making you aware. Temperance is, is asking you to be aware of yourself, to be aware of how you're feeling. Often we say, listen to the messages from spirit or guides and kind of let that filter in. But it's truly um, taking your own temperature and seeing how you feel, what's going on, what do I need to redirect? What do I need to um, either cut away or add into the situation to bring myself into balance? And I often think that when we look at the temperance card, the card next to it is kind of giving you a hint of what you have to do in order to find that balance. And here we have the princess of wands and this young beautiful princess is earnest she's youthful she has energy and she has the desire to want to do things to want to have experiences to follow her dreams or passions or enthusiasms or you know whatever it may be that really makes her feel alive so this is very much a go get them type of energy so next to temperance here, it's perhaps uh, in your life, you might need to be more of a go-getter and to start new projects or to do some things that are gonna bring you fulfillment and to bring you contentment. And this is the early stages, you're getting excited, you have that excitement and the wonder about bringing in these new experiences into your life. But it goes here with, you know, of doing what you need to do, whether it's drinking, you know, hot tea and honey to, to get yourself physically restored, mentally and spiritually, all of these things of combining it together. Interesting. Uh, Princess of Wands, again, active. And then we have this Seven of Swords. So we have this man here sitting at the desk writing. And we have the swords right here. And so this is quite a departure from the traditional rider weight uh, illustration of someone sneaking away from base camp. But what do we see? We see someone who's 
really thinking, taking time to write. He may be dealing with some problems. I get a sense that this is on your own, you're going to have to figure some things out. That if you've been in groups or if you've been listening to a lot of people, that this is going to call for you to take the time to problem solve and to work through whatever may be coming your way or whatever struggle that you're working with. Often the Seven of Swords goes toward deceptive behavior, perhaps trickery. In other cases, we may look at it like someone who's a lone wolf who wants to uh, get out and do their own thing and just takes what they need. He has his swords there. He has his, his pen in hand, his, his feather pen in hand, and looks deep in thought. So it tells me that he is uh, he's considering and he's, he's focused on a situation. So that's what I would say with respect to this particular Seven of Swords card, is that this is applying yourself uh, in solitude to be able to deal with an issue. He's using his head He's using his thoughts. He's using his reason, his reasoning, versus using the sword to, you know, to battle. So, you know, the swords are about your uh, intellect, about your mental reasoning, about how you really think about things and use your smarts. So interesting. Uh, with that card and so you know maybe maybe this is a taxing thing that you're dealing with and you really need to find the balance and through finding the balance it's a matter also of taking action uh, getting excited about doing something hmm interesting I will say that this seven of swords that's I'll have to go back and reread it's been a long time since I've read um, the guidebook that came with it to see where how they explain it but this is what I see when I look at it let's take a look at the numbers we have 14 15 and 7 is 22 that's a master number that's the builder and it's a wonderful master number to have it's fa fabulous because it's about being an architect and being the architect and the builder of your dreams of your goals and of making them come true. So I hope that you, oh, I'm not done. I have to do the, the Oracle. I almost forgot. Okay. Now we're going to choose an Oracle. We're going to get a little more information. Renewal. So Again, it goes very nicely with temperance, which is to feel a sense of renewal, which is to restore, take time for yourself, take the moderate path, do what you need to do to make yourself feel uh, in balance, healthy diet, sleep, nutrition, be in nature. Uh, surround yourself with things that bring you pleasure or make you happy. It's a sense of building a renewal. So friends, I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.